I'll tell you what's a raw deal. When they suspended that Richard Jefferson down in Arizona, because they're solid in every position on the floor. Now it's Haslam working against the freshman who got a inside. I'll tell you one thing, that's an advantage. That could be a mismatch on the interior. Right back the other way. Randolph gets the payback. He says anything you can do. Rain O'Neill, his hometown of Columbia, South Carolina. Randolph steps in front and tries to lay it off. Oh, oh what an amazing play. Do you realize how big he is, Brad? The agility, the mobility. About 265 going the other way like a diesel. And he lays it off the glass. He's in double figures. He's mobile and he is agile and he's not fragile. And he sometimes is hostile. <laughs> on that end, he comes up with a foul. And now he's talking a little bit of smack with Ed Corbett. Ed points and down to her. takes him out to wow. calm him down. He was a little too demonstrative. Uh, Back to a nine-point lead in the goal. He pushed off the door, didn't he? No. Nope. Oh, no. He is such a major factor inside. He stretches the defense because you have to respect him in a low block. Here he is in a low block. Look at him, Brad. Look at him, that big wide body. He's got everything working for him. It's hard to believe he played high school only a few months ago. I know. It's hard to believe. <laughs> I mean, he must have been incredible down there on the inside. There's that zone. I'll let Richardson have to try to beat me with the wing jump shot. And they got a wide open. Alone is Richardson. Didn't get it to him quite quick enough, but he can change it with how high he can jump. They do a great job of we'll finding one pretty soon. Still can't, though. I think you might have to take him out for a minute. Randolph running it for him. Oops, and now the pain and Randolph get tangled up. Randolph looks back on me. There's a two diaper dandies. Taylor to Randolph. There's the contact. That's about all Teddy to pay at five. Get murdered at the free throw line, and he will. And you and I can't go tomorrow, but in St. Louis, they got the KMOX shootout. The number one and two high school centers are going head to head from California to Illinois. Tyson Chandler and Eddie Curry at 6'11. I got that tidbit of Dan Wetzel, a fine writer here from Basketball Times. And they say there's going to be 26 NBA teams. Wow. You are the king of tidbits. I try to get those tidbits. And you get them from, right from the side by, I think, Richardson got it. Yeah, Richardson came from the weak side to give help. He didn't see him. They're going to communicate. That's a little Richardson waving his hands. There's the diagonal pass, the opposite pass, and he's got that great bounce off the floor. He's got 12 points tonight to go with six rebounds. Inside rebound. Tough one for Haslam, and he's going to go to the free throw line. I'll tell you, he's a workaholic on the inside. He works so hard on the glass, Haslam. Come go. The zone has created a little bit of a problem. they got to make some perimeter shots for Michigan State. There's the wide open shot. Chappelle rimmed it out. And right off trying to clean up the dunk. I'll tell you, he just clears people out. I mean, he is just so strong. Oh, he is so strong and so wide, and he has the touch. He has the good hands. I think they're so excited that Jack Eveling was telling me to find writer from here in Lansing that he made the Student Athlete of the Month receive that award, and they're really happy because coming in here, he had some problems off the court. There was some speculation as to whether or not it was really. I think that's great when you're away from home like he is, from out of Marion, Indiana, to have that family show a lot of interest in him here in Lansing. That's great. Right. Tom Izzo said normally when you come into college basketball. Teaching and motivating at Wisconsin. We're in East Lansing, Michigan with Dick Vitale and Brad Nussle. This is a rematch of the national championship game from early April. We've had a good game throughout and Randolph just knocked another one down. He's and now Haslam's got four fouls as does Wright. Oh, what a big time offensive weapon in a low block. He's the first real post player they've had with scoring ability in that block since they had a guy years ago play with Magic Johnson named Jay Jay Vincent. There he is in that touch. You remember the name Jay Vincent? You bet. Jay Vincent was a strong force in a low block. And it's here to pay to start filling it from the outside. It's as simple as that. Nelson almost threw it away. Bonner on the baseline. What been the offense? Yes, what a game. But he's been instant offense all year. I think if you're looking for a roll aid special, an outstanding sixth man, you've got to think about Bonner. Who did you see? Lead in on Bonner before he got that shot off. Bonner just bounced off. 
like a rock <laughs> across the water. And I'll tell you the other thing, he's so uncanny and so unorthodox the way he shoots the ball from his hip. He's got a variety of releases. Here he is now with the catch inside. How he ever gets that off inside is amazing. And the big guy has tied his career high and right now can break it if he hits a free throw for his 20th point. I think he had his career high in his last game. Yeah, he did. Chicago. He had 19 points and 10 rebounds against the Chicago. That means though he's become such a star in the coaching fraternity. And what I like is his honesty. He said, hey, we're nowhere near yet as an elite program all of North Carolina and Duke and Kansas and Kentucky and those programs that have been here year after year, but we're getting closer and closer. And that's our goal. And as long as he stays on that sideline, he hasn't changed one bit either in the last 15 years. He's owning the state. I mean, Michigan is really way down compared to Michigan State right now. Nelson ran down a three, ran off and a handle on uh, the rebound, but lost it. That one blocked by Thomas. Taylor comes out of the pack with him. That size is, he wants the ball. Does Look he at the big eyes. Wheels on the baseline. Hey, you can see why he wants the ball. He says, get me the rock. They can't stop me. It's an over and over. It's a mismatch. The way the big fella on the left hand wants the ball inside. It's hard to say anybody's a mini guy, but he's a mini version of a guy I coached in the NBA. Bob Lanier, yeah. left hander. A mini version of Big Bob. We're experiencing a Zach attack. Look at the Zach attack. I like that. And he's got a lot of enthusiasm. 22 points. And he's dominating inside with Haslam having fouled out and Brent Wright with four fouls unable to play right now. Parker misses a free throw. And it's great to get, see kids produce when they get playing time. Not having everything handed to them. Because so many kids are so spoiled. Since the time they're 12 and 13, 14, everybody tell them. Elder statesmen on the team said, guys, you don't do that with Tom Izzo or you might sit forever. And that's what they're about. The hugs, the love they have, tough love, but he's so respected and loved by his players. No change with the free throws. They missed them both. Randolph inside. It's the Randolph Taylor show, my friends. It's a coming out party, let America know. These two diaper dandies will be in that lineup when it's crunch time. This team is deeper and more talented than last year's team. Oh, what a combination. They're making team in the second half for Randolph. They're making great music together, Randolph and Taylor. Another three-point play. He gets it the old-fashioned way in three. The biggest lead of the night, it's a dozen for Michigan State. And it's a Zach attack at Breslin Center. Taylor's not doing too bad either. Yes, sir. Look at him split the defense, hanging in the air. From right here, Lansing, what a super combination. What a dynamite tandem. I wouldn't even want to be the fly on the wall in this half time locker room. Down 11 at the half. Spartans can have focus. Exactly. Sixth game on a high college level. With six minutes left in the game, we've got almost the exact score of the championship game in April. 89 77, Michigan State. Marcus Taylor says, you know, Zach, we got 27, but I can do some stuff too. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Look at him right there. Hanging and twisting. And if I'm Zach Randolph, I better stay friends with Marcus Taylor because the rock is in his hands, baby. They both get a breather. And look at the numbers. Wow. See, that's unselfish. First time learned from a real sharp mind in Judd Heathcote, who led him to the national title in 79. Terry Donnelly, Jay Boone. Okay, coming up next, that should be a daily report. Oh, well, that's, listen, he's listening. See, he's not a spoiled superstar, young kid. Look at Tom Izzo saying what I want out of you. I'm not happy yet with what you've done. Some tough moments. Michael Miller had to make that sensational shot to beat a Bill Butler team. This kid can handle the rock from out of West Virginia. Brett was really effective with his three-point shooting the NCAAs, too. He hit over half. He five tonight as well. They got a date Michigan State with Kentucky. Kentucky will be playing them as you're watching right here. Look at Charlie Bell. Now watch him attack the glass. I mean, this kid just goes out and rebounds, and those are an after shot. We would have lost, but it's that ran down. There's Taylor with a little jumper in the drive. Taylor hanging in the air. Look at Taylor. Get right in the gaps. Now we see Zach Randolph with that low post move, that great touch. Here he is with the catch. He's got soft hands. Now we have to find.
find out what they can do on a road. And that big test for them will be on a road when they play Seton Hall at the Meadowlands, the Jimmy V Classic. Hey, this is doesn't need the 100 points. He wins it 99 to 83 is the final. So Michigan State goes to 6 and 0. For Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now let's head to Paul and wide leader in sports. Now let's head to Paul in Missouri. John and Rod Franklin got Accountability, 67-59. Gators hanging around. Dupe, their best outside shooter, penetrated. Gators down five. He had 17. Seemed to relish in the fact that he was arch enemy number one. Marcus Taylor, one, two, count all of them, three. They're up 73-65. Then it's Marcus Taylor, freshman. Zach Randolph, freshman. Spartans up 85-73 after the free throw. Six minutes and 12 seconds left to go. The freshman... Grew up. Taylor. Spinning. Get out of here. And it drops. 89-77. The karma still good. The very same floor they won the national championship on in Indianapolis. Now at the Breslin Center. It says a few different things on it. I think they're unstoppable once you get the ball in deep. How has it been for you to wait to get the kind of minutes you've got? Well, I'm very patient right now. You know, um, it's, it's time's gonna come. You know, I'm patient. Per I'm patient person. Coach told me to be patient. My time will come. And now I think I'm starting to get used to playing. And I'm starting to make this my home. So everything's coming good, and, and, and I'm ready. I'll tell you one thing. There's no question that he's ready. What has the adjustment been for you to step in? You're replacing a guy at the point guard and Mateen Cleaves. Certainly a big time. Winner. I think learning the system because when we came in, there was a lot of plays we had to learn and just the basic offense and how the team worked last year. And uh, we had to get used to winning by playing defense and tough rebounding. So after we got that system down, we're playing a lot better now. We're getting used to it. And you also have taken this big guy in like a brother. Oh, yeah, that's my brother, man. I mean, I met him a few years ago and uh, we just like twins now. You know, we hang out a lot and we learn like, each other every day. I'll tell you, Zach, you better make sure you stay close to him because he has the rock in his hand. Oh, yeah, he got the rock. That's my man right there. So, you hey. know, whatever he tells me, I got to do it. Hey, Zach, what about the defensive end. Well, I play. I feel like I play great defense. Um, has you know he's a very good player. Our whole team, we played great. Um, Charlie Bell, everybody contributed tonight, and it was just a great game. Were they booing or saying Teddy, Teddy? Dupay got a little taste of something from Zach Randolph. Took the elbow right in the chops, and it didn't taste too good. He had to ask out of the game. He did come 17 points, but Zach Randolph was the man at 6'9", 270, showing the quickness to jump out in the lane, the nice little hesitation move, and got it to go out the glass with a kid. <laughs> and inside, he may play below the rim, but Zach Randolph has as good an inside feel as any big guy I've seen in a long time coming into college basketball. He just knows how to score when he gets the ball down into the low block here, drawing the foul, completing the play against Udonis Haslam. Zach Randolph had 27 points in this game. Calling the bread strike. And Teddy Dupay, you mentioned he delivered two. 17 for him. Gators hanging around within five. And after a timeout, shot clock winding down the freshman. Stroking. Marcus Taylor. 373-65. And then the two freshmen hook up. Taylor to Randolph. And one. 85-73 after the free throw. Just 12 left. Watch Taylor use the pick. Of course, he doesn't always need a pick. It's floating in.